Sauron is dead. I have no time to mourn. I must save the world. The arms race between the U.S. and the U.S.S.R. have put us on a dangerous path. It would take only the tiniest spark to burn us all. To balance the threat, I must make sure that everyone knows there is no end game. A simple idea. Mutually assured destruction. To this end, I need to develop. Sir, the USS battleship Secret Plan just took refuge in our waters. Its captain refused to fire their nuclear missiles to avoid starting a world war. And now the Secret Plan is on the run. Hello there, and welcome back to Tropico. As you can see, we are on the brink of war. A nuclear war nonetheless, and we have to fix this. We basically have to build a nuclear program within the next 24 months. And failure to do so will start World War 3. I'm sorry for uh, a little bit of a skipping of the intro. It wasn't really what I was trying to do. I was uh, thinking that I could actually start doing stuff, even though uh, the intro was still playing. Which of course wasn't, uh, well, wasn't the case, unfortunately. I don't think we'll be spending any money on upgrading or fixing the guard towers. I don't really see a good, uh, any good way of doing that. Pretty sure we already had research over to the hostile atom, but uh, we need that to actually be able to uh, to build a nuclear program. So research will definitely be our well focus here. So uh, we'll see how this plays out. Peaceful atom, and yeah, I can actually do it just like that. So that works perfectly. All right, three, six, seven. So yeah, it'll be perfect. This is the way we have to do this. The goal of, as I said, the goal will be here to get that done. We'll probably have to build some, uh... At your service. I found a rebel, I think. Filter the rich crime lord. I guess I could kill. I don't think that will work out too well. Anyways, as I said, we'll probably be building some, uh... Some research buildings in order to speed things up. We might also build some more factories in order to earn money for the to support that. And I might. I think power plant is not something we'll be building at the time being. We'll probably go for a couple of apartments. But uh, again, other than that, I am a little bit uncertain what we'll do. But as I said, we'll build a couple of apartments. Just get any potential housing issue on the way right away. And uh, we'll see how it goes in terms of getting uh, some industry up and running. Because I'm pretty sure we'll be needing that. And I know if I can fix a, re a fit a research building here. Or if I might even build a... Hola, people! There are some industrialists out there spreading lies. Saying that if we do not get off the beach and go straight to the factory, we will die poor. Well, I can tell them that it's a blatant lie. The more people come to the beach, the more drinks I sell. <laughs> Can't you see that having fun is the economic backbone of Tropico? Presidente, thank you for calling me. If you need any ideas on how to delay an impending invasion from one or possibly two superpowers, well, <laughs> I am your man. You know, you can rely on me. So, ask you see, Penultima will present different ways to delay the impending invasion. So, Presidente. I have a solution to all our problems. Well, a temporary solution at least. I believe, Presidente, we can... So, oil or uranium. Considering the fact that this is a nuclear war, or nuclear setup, I think oil is the answer here. So we're going to set up oil pumps on both of these oil deposits. I believe there's another one over here. Yeah, we're going to most likely start pumping out oil from all three of them. 5,000 is actually... Uh, one sixth of our well deposits here. I'm not if we can actually find the oil along the coast. It would probably just be a black spot of some description. I believe we had one around here somewhere. No, it doesn't look like we have any oil off the coast, which sucks. But not too much I can do about that. We're going to start uh, take the oil mission then. Presidente. Don't really want to play with the well explosives to some <laughs> to some degree, and I guess the road will go straight down from here. That should work out just fine. And hopefully here yeah, this won't uh, put us in a awkward position per se. I can always hope that it uh, that it won't, but depends to be seen, more or less. And I don't 
don't think I have the money to build the oil wells. I actually have to research the oil technology. Yeah, we're going to research oil first then, of course. And then we're going to take everything else in the order that we need here. Apparently I need also a peaceful atom to just be able to uh, mine uranium, so... This is definitely the best way of doing things, and we'll probably go ahead then and build some... Uh, well, first, there what it is? No, we'll build a library to generate some more research points for us, and I might as well just place it here. Doesn't really matter too much where I place it, to be perfectly honest. Can I speed up the this thing here? Increases wealth. Housing quality. We could probably do something down here. Catholic mission and put a landlord there. Drop by quite a bit. And we'll probably upgrade these things uh, sooner or later. There we have money. So I guess building a secondary library and potentially a college is probably not the worst of ideas. I believe it... No, build an observatory. I believe this thing gave a ton of... Uh, a ton of research points, so we're definitely going to build one of those. Just to speed the research up, and hopefully that way uh, get the missions done. The Russians want to start for sure, I can export rum to the Russians, no problem at all. And other than that, we'll... Yeah, we'll get the ac academic apartment for both of those to get some more research points. Presidente. I'll just allow that to save for a while. If I need to do that to actually speed up things, then fine, I'll do it. But unless I actually have to... I don't think I'll uh, I'll bother with that, but again, we have to wait and see. And I might actually uh, I might actually uh, get people from uh, from off the island here to uh, come and research to get some extra points. I might actually be forced to. We'll just have to see how it plays out. We have a lot of money on this one. I think we also need to build another dock. To be perfectly honest, it seems like we have way too much money in a single one of these. So we're going to place another dock right here. With that, I didn't actually have to destroy that road, which is a little bit infuriating. And we'll do that. So then we can place some smaller buildings, some uh, guard towers if need be. We'll see. President, I have been holding delicate secret talks with our American friends in Big Oil. Oh yes, we do have friends there. Hard to believe, I know. Wonderful guys, generous, kind-hearted, willing to do anything for us. So apparently, as you can see, they can lobby to lag the impending US invasion. I'm totally, I have no power whatsoever in Washington DC, but DC is also full of compassion and politicians who care about humanity. It's greatly good. So pay 5,000 to invite, invite them and uh, drop off oil price, free oil buildings. Drop off the oil price and free oil buildings. Uh, I, I'm not the, I guess we'll, I guess we can live with that. 5,000 from my Swiss bank account and we have that much. I have 80. 80,000, that reminds me it's time to level up one of our, well, our guys here. I believe I can level up all of them. And Fredo here could definitely become useful with his uh, extra research points. If I can find him, that is. Is he sitting here? No. Hmm. No idea where he is at, but doesn't matter. We have the money now to build the oil wells. We actually get them for free now. I don't, I don't think I... Yeah, I only get one which sucks. But hopefully I can upgrade it down the line. Bon nice the mines? I don't think we have to right now. Don't I have some other mines too? Cold mines? I have one nice cold mine. You. I am Dr. Zweistein. I heard your nuclear situation may lead to a world war. So I felt obliged to come and assist you in the matter with my vast intelligence. I started researching a device which will resolve all your and the world's nuclear troubles and avoid such problems as total nuclear war. It will be either related to an elementary particle reaction or time-space continuum on quantum level. Anyway, it is so too complicated for you to understand. I will let you know when I have results. In the meantime, please go ahead with your actions to resolve the situation yourself. Well, I guess that's fair. To some degree. If I have learned anything in the many years by your side, it is that no one wants to clean up your mess. Make a crisis ugly enough that no one will dare touch us because no one will want to deal with it. This is an idea so stupid that it might actually work. Dougly Crunch's solution, which basically is to take in a ton of refugees, and it will delay the invasion. We're not going to do that. We don't have the food, 
We don't have the housing. And to make matters worse, it'll most likely screw over my economy and get me fired by rebels or whatnot. Basically, it'll make everything a lot worse. And we don't want that. We really, really don't want that. Research should have sped up quite a bit here, as you can see. So we should get that before time runs out. Anyways, once we start doing... Uh, doing yeah, we're going to do oil. Going to... you, I know. Anyways, it should... It should solve itself, more or less. In the meantime, I'll just upgrade stuff, I guess. We'll modernize the mines, mines later. Might actually build some extra mines, too, while I'm at it. Uranium deposits. I don't think we're going to touch those. ...has proclaimed eternal friendship between the USSR and Tropico, the bad... I guess we'll take an industry building. So, let's see. We can get a not a steel mill or text... Texam Hill. I think we might actually. I think we might actually try and build a power plant now. For Frank, and I'm actually going to place it down here, kind of out of the way for all, well everything more or less. The only thing that's a little bit annoying, of course, is that I'm pretty sure that since I place it so far away, I have to build those little. What they called? I should probably also build this thing. Let's see, we need a... I don't think we should build anything else right now. I need those electrical little infrastructure, electrical substation. We're going to build a lot of those once we actually get that power plant up and running. We've discovered the mineral. And there we go, I can now build the uh, oil wells. We have discovered the oil, which is good. I think I'm also going to uh, set up mines for, well, the places where I don't have mines right now. That could probably be fairly useful to just get them up and running. So we're going to build at least two coal mines. I have no idea if we have anything else here. We have gold, so I should probably set them up. Three gold mines, so that's definite. That is something that we will be doing. Yeah, let's just along that road. We're going to make... Kind of pisses me off that you actually have to connect it before you can do anything else with it. I think I'll be building too much. It's just making a road like this should probably be alright. And yes, I'm pretty sure we will actually be building uh, at least two gold mines. I'm a little bit unsure about the third. I might keep it there just for... Well, as a rainy day fund to some degree. I think I'll also build... If I don't have a steel mill already, I think I should build one. I don't think I have a steel mill, which is a little bit surprising. So let us just build one. It's free after all. President, have you ever thought about who your dearest friend is? The one who owes you most money. You don't really want anything bad to happen to them, right? <laughs> Again, a horrible idea that there is friend. Reach junk credit credit rating, which basically means get go into the miners. Of course it allows people to build a lot of stuff President. and otherwise just screw things over. But out of these alternatives, the uranium one seems to be the uh, one that is the well, best pick right now. And no matter how you look at that, that is definitely not good news. That's not good news at all. So, let us see here. Oh, coil tubing rig. 15,000 units. That could actually be quite useful. But we'll have to save money for the oil well right here. I don't think we are in modern times yet. No, we are second world or at the end. I need money so I can quick build some things. A fourth one? President, in times as dark and dire as these, we must turn to our most powerful friends. Our most powerful friend is the US President. He can drink a whole keg of beer and still lift an ox. I guess we'll call the uh, President. President, in times as... Have I called him? President, in... I guess I have. We'll just have to wait and see what he says. Uh, we're going to generate some money to my Swiss bank account. Not the best of ideas, I know. Presidente, I was wondering whether you were about to call me or defeat the U.S. Army all by yourself. So, he actually uh, made Spanish classes mandatory and delayed the innovation by quite, quite a while. I have to say I'm happy about that. The Politburo has approved... Like the USSR. Uh, where the hell is my embassy? Do I even have an embassy is the big question here. I don't think I do. 
I don't think I do. No, that's the high school. That is barracks. That is customs. Um, mansion? Yeah, mansion. President. Remember that Executives, manager skills. Good. I still can't find what I'm looking for, though. Um, I don't think I have one. And I think I need to build a another constructor's construction office. We'll build it down here next to the... Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. I was I was afraid there a second I built it in the wrong spot and was about to get punished for it. But unfortunately, or luckily, I didn't. Going to modernize, modernize, modernize the mines too. That should help out quite a bit. But all in all, I think I might have to... Uh, to get some new people in if I want to actually have people working here and thus get the, the oil out all up and running. We'll see. I might get into a little bit of a uh, little bit of a tight spot here. What nice and automated coal mine. Hmm. I have three coal mines, so yeah, I can actually get them more coal up and running. Which is good for the little sake of me running. No, not it. Because I need it to. Um, well, I need it for two purposes. We have the. Uh, we have the. Uh, the power plant once it's done. And we also have the. Uh, steel mill here. After a short squabble, the Caribbean. No, thank you. I don't think I'll set up a pharmaceutical just yet. I don't even know what's needed for that. Effectiveness is increased. Effectiveness is increased. Pollution. I don't like pollution. Should I call the U.S. president again? Yeah, we'll call the U.S. president again and see if we get another well extension to some degree. And I think I'll actually build a apartment uh, set up here, just for the fact that there are no people working here. To discover hey, more constitution options. Security surveillance. Yep. Protocracy. We like that. Subsistence media. I think we can live with that. Yep, we'll go with this. Should work just fine. Presidente, it's a real pleasure to talk to a true friend in these awful times. Customs declaration for every soldier in this generation. Tropico, but that is about it. We'll take nine months. So I'm 37 months here to get the nuclear program up and running. And it looks kind of interesting, or it looks like I might not be able to pull something like that off. We'll have to, we'll have to see here. Rock break increased available. Well, we're going to do that definitely. More money, of course, which is wonderful. I'm going to do that in every mine where I have something up and running. I need to modernize these things first, apparently. Let's see here. So again, I'm kind of in a troublesome spot. Tropicans await elections next year. They wish to show their Shh. everlasting love and respect. Sure. This could go very, very badly. I I don't really have the time. Entertainment. So get entertainment up, everyone is happy. Police stations, build one of those to get things up. Uh, liberty, healthcare, build a couple of clinics. Shouldn't be too bad really. It's uh It's not really an issue when I think about it. Just build a tavern or two. Build a couple of beach sites over here. A couple ones on the other side. And boom, everyone will love me. Hopefully. I think there's much else I can do. And also, of course, we want to uh, get a couple of clinics up and running to help with potential sickness, of course, and all that. And hopefully then get the people to uh, vote for me. And while I'm at it, I believe I wanted another police station to make completely sure that the people know who is the king and emperor. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say that out? Did I say that out loud? No, oh, I'm I'm just kidding, of course. But I think we'll just do this. Then we'll make a road over to the uh, over to these things. There we go. But, we are more or less out of time, so we'll have to, uh, well, solve the world crisis next time. This has kind of been a uh, weird episode for me, so we'll have to see if I can make something better next time. Money-wise, we might be in a little bit of an awkward spot too, so 
we'll see how it plays out. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise criticism, anything you feel like, and hopefully, I'll see you around next time. Bye.